Namaste and welcome to Indian Varieties. Today we are looking into a very simple pomfret fish curry or a red fish curry. Coming up. Now this pomfret fish curry is a very simple preparation. I have done such kind of preparation before, a vegetarian preparation using potatoes and onions. You can check out the link on the top. It's called Batad as a Bujna. That is the same thing I'm going to do today using pomfret. In Marathi, this is called as Paplet as a Bujna. So again, as per most of my videos, this pomfret curry also takes very limited time. It's hardly 15 minutes or 20 minutes and your pomfret curry is ready. In this video, I'll be using a pomfret, but you can use any other sea fish. And if you would like to see such kind of easy and quick recipes, please do consider subscribing. I do post videos every Wednesday. So let's quickly go ahead and check out what all ingredients we require for this pomfret curry. So for this fish curry, you can see that we only require very few ingredients. Of course, it's a fish curry, so I've taken one full pomfret fish, just chopped it head off. One finely chopped onion, some coriander to garnish, and one tablespoon of garlic paste. In the spices, we require some turmeric, some red chili powder, some asafoetida or hing, and of course, we require salt to taste. So let's go ahead and check out how we are going to cook it. So take a pan, so take a pan and add oil in it, around two tablespoons. Then add all the chopped onions. Add the garlic paste, one tablespoon of garlic paste, a quarter teaspoon of turmeric, one full teaspoon of red chili powder and a pinch of asafoetida. Now mix the masala well with the onions. I'm using a spatula to do this. So the oils and the masala, I'm just mixing it. Remember, we are still not started cooking. We have not kept the pan on the gas or on the cooktop. If you like more spicy, you can definitely add more red chili powder. Add salt to taste as well. So there it goes, just spread the, spread the onions across the pan. So now in couple of minutes, this masala will start heating up and then we will add our fish. As you see, our masala is started to cook. Just give it a quick stir and then add the fish. Just try to cover the fish with all, with little bit of uh, onions on top of it. With the spatula, I am doing this. Add around half a cup of water. Just give it a shake like this to the pan. And cover the pan. So after around two to three minutes, just open and check. Now flip over each and every piece. Make sure that they don't break. It's cooked halfway from the one side. Now you have to cook it from the other side as well. So just flip it over. So after you turn around all the pieces of the fish, just again give a shake and cover it up again. Now let it again cook for three, four minutes. So after around three minutes, just open and check. Mm, our fish curry seems to be ready. Just try and find out if the fish is cooked. Just put some pressure on the fish. Yes, it's cooked perfectly. So just take it off the gas and finally, if you like, you can squeeze in some fresh lemon juice. Else you can have it this way. Just garnish it with some coriander on top of it. So wasn't it simple guys? You can enjoy this fish curry with some dal and rice or you can enjoy it with some chapati or roti. It's completely up to you. This was again one of the quick preparations from me. Hope you guys have enjoyed it. If you have, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up. If you have any suggestions, if you have any feedback, if you want to improvise on certain things, I would love to hear it from you. Please don't forget to share it in the comments below. And you can also follow me on Facebook and Twitter. I will leave the link in the description below along with the recipe of this fish curry. So please don't forget to check out the description. So see you again guys next time in my next video. Till the time you keep experimenting with food, share it with your friends and don't forget to enjoy. Take care.